According to NASA's fiscal year 2014 budget table, the Department of Defense was given $756.4 billion, Department of Health and Human Services $73.7 billion, Department of Education $68.6 billion, Department of Housing and Urban De Development $32.6 billion, Department of Agriculture $21.5 billion. While all these budgets were given to these departments, NASA has only received about $17.6 billion out of the whole federal budget. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, was created as part of the United States government to specialize in science and technology of astronautics and aeronautics. Every year, NASA gets defunded. NASA's budget was at approximately 4.3% of the federal budget in 1968 and has been dropping since. Now, not even 1% of the federal budget is being incorporated towards NASA. One, out of the $3.9 I mean trillion dollars that President Obama has proposed as a national budget, only NASA's, NASA's budget partakes about 0.45%. The government's decision to reduce NASA's yearly funding is counterproductive and prevents innovation. NASA's inventions and technology has allowed us to understand more about the aerospace. From launching a satellite, landing on the moon, and discovering other planets that can sustain life, NASA allows us to be more aware of what's going on outside of Earth. The obs observatory of telescopes have allowed us to see beyond our planet. Programs such as Mercury, Gemini, Apollo have helped NASA learn why in space. These discoveries led to the first human Neil Armstrong landing on the moon in 1969. Also, space probes have traveled to every planet in the solar system. These discoveries have allowed us to be more aware of the space history. NASA funding helps protect the planet. Not only did NASA discover the outer space and beyond, it allows us to track the near-Earth objects, such as asteroids and comets, that might pose a threat to our human society. The study of near-Earth objects has started since the 1970s, has now grown to a huge project of NASA's <coughs> near-Earth object wide field to deferred survey explorer spacecraft which allows NASA to observe and analyze accurate data of asteroids that can cause potential threat to us, but also gives us the ability to evaluate the components of the near-Earth objects. <coughs> Excuse me. NASA has innovated our society into a technology civilization. Many argue that NASA should be defunded and that the government should solve problems on Earth before space exploration. All the funding NASA takes a lot of money, their innovation inventions are worth the cost. NASA has helped our society by inventing advanced ways of transportation, communication, medical technology, and military. NASA has developed aircrafts and planes, also set with a new record for developing the fastest plane, making faster and safer transportation possible. Thanks to the satellites that NASA has put up, communicating with others from such distance became accessible through mobile devices. NASA has also invented arterial vision, cochlear implants, insulin pumps, heart defibrillators, and breast cancer screening, which have all had saved lives. NASA also takes a huge part in the military to do the military depends on their communications on the satellite that, has NASA, that NASA has created and launched. NASA has made many beneficial contributions towards our environment with inventions like water filters, anti-corrosion coating, Roof runways and satellites to keep track of the weather and climate change. Along these innovations, NASA has been part of the climate change alternative, alternative energy researches and air quality researches to improve the state of our planet. With the inventions of invention of high spectral resolution lighter aircraft, NASA made it possible for us to me measure aerosols, small particles in our air. This aircraft determines the quality of the air, allowing us to develop effective strategies to keep the air and earth clean. On the other hand, global warming has been a catastrophic issue deeming a potential threat to our society. With the use of NASA's airborne radar devices, we are able to report flow of ice glaciers and interpret how global warming is affecting the environment. Due to the continuous use of fossil fuels as our energy source, our environment is now polluted with greenhouse gases. To prevent this problem from getting worse, NASA is coming up with ways to use algae to produce clean fuel by placing semi-permeable membranes filled with wastewater into the ocean. The algae will grow into the membranes, feeding off the nutrients in the waste, producing biofuels. Since the algae produces photosynthesis, the waste gets treated instead of polluting the ocean. 
NASA has been more beneficial to both Earth and space as opposed to any other departments that focuses on Earth. Without NASA, the era of technology and innovation wouldn't have been established and developed as well how it is today. Satellites help our economy as well as our environment. If it wasn't for NASA, we wouldn't have much knowledge about our solar system or the Earth itself. As for our future innovations, NASA is currently developing spaceflight capabilities, capabilities to send human beings to Mars and asteroids. NASA is also developing a way to capture and redirect asteroids to a stable orbit around the moon. Search for sustainable life outside of the Earth continues as they strive to research the history and atmosphere of Mars and Jupiter. Although NASA is known for its space expeditions and explorations, NASA also helps the Earth to strive into advanced technology and innovation. However, cutting off their budget every year is taking away higher chances of developing the world into a better society, as well as crippling planetary science. Thank you. At the beginning of the speech, you do have a good citation of factual data on the various budgets and you have a source that you attribute that to. Uh, that's the last source citation I hear in the speech. You've got a lot of claims that are being made about the benefits of NASA, all the innovation that they've done that don't give me any uh, reason, you know, they don't come from anywhere. You, you just make those particular claims. I'm sure that you've done some research uh, that suggests those things, but you're not citing it in the speech, and that's problematic. Uh, the idea, for instance, of the biofuels is an interesting one. It's probably a particular study that's been proposed Proposed. There are advocates for it, and we're not hearing from any of those advocates or experts as to why this is the right thing to do. Uh, I don't get any estimate about how what the impact's going to be. There's no statistical data on it. This is all very abstract information about what NASA. You know what? This this sounds like. Where are you? Are you right there somewhere. There you are. It, you know, it sounds like the data that you could get off of the first page of the NASA website. You know, here's all the fantastic things that we do without offering any proof and not even citing that it came off of the NASA website. So I, I'm, I, I think it's really underdeveloped in regard to that. Also, the presentation, I think, is problematic. You are reading way too much. And I think sometimes it's noticeable that you're not always familiar with the concepts that you're talking about because you're straining a little bit to say some of those ideas. And uh, you need to be more familiar with the argument. Uh, you're so dependent on the script that it makes it feel as if you are you know, just data processing for us instead of making an argument. So I, I, I think that there are a couple problems there. The proposition is buried. I, I know what the proposition is because it's written down here on the uh, evaluation form and I've got a copy of the outline, but I'm not exactly sure that you ever identified it in the speech. I, I mean, I heard you say it. I knew what it was, but I don't know that anybody else would be able to pick out that that was in fact the proposition of the speech and I told you to highlight those sorts of things. There's not a, a structure that is, e there's no preview, that's a problem, and the secondary points I think there is a way that they build together, but there's no numerical signposting on them, and that's problematic. So you, you, I think you've got something here where there's an argument that there's a need for higher funding of NASA. That's basically what the claim is. Or our failure to fund NASA adequately is, produce, is going to shortchange us. That's a, a possible argument also. Um, because uh, because NASA is capable of doing X, Y, and Z, and that's the way those claims ought to be phrased for an oral presentation. Uh, you know, like I said, this sounds like a, a, an essay that's being done on this, and it needs to be better cited also. All right, thank you.